The first person you meet in a Steely Dan song is a guy named Jack. In the first verse of Do It Again, Jack kills a man in anger, and then evades death by hanging because it's the hangman's day off. In the second verse, Jack is undone by his devotion to a faithless woman. And then in the third verse, he's undone again at the poker table. Jack is both the first Steely Dan protagonist and the archetypal one. He's a loser, strapped to the karmic wheel, forever slipping out of one trap set by his own dumb desires and into another one, rescuing doom from the jaws of salvation. Over the ensuing decades, Steely Dan will rewrite this song again and again. They will sing about people who can't help driving headlong toward one form of destruction or another. People telling themselves they're doing something other than that, even when they know the truth. It's 1972. It's the third week of November. Practically no one knows anything about Steely Dan, who the members are, where they're from, what their haircuts look like. In 1972, people still experience pop music through the keyhole of pop radio. There is no MTV to illustrate it, no Wikipedia to make you an expert in seconds. There is so much you can't know. Steely Dan's first charting single, the first track on the first side of the first Steely Dan album, Can't Buy a Thrill, released this same month by ABC Records, is a song called Do It Again. The title is maybe the first great inside joke by two of modern music's greatest inside jokers. Their names are Donald Fagan and Walter Becker. They will be the only consistent members of Steely Dan from the early 1970s until Walter Becker's death in 2017. And Do It Again is a funny title in part because this isn't even their real first single. Their real first single, released earlier in 1972, has already come and gone, making so little impact that, for decades afterward, it will be hard to say whether the record was ever sold in stores or simply pressed up and mailed to disc jockeys, who ignored it. The A-side is a song about Dallas, on which they let their drummer sing lead. Presumably it's Dallas, Texas, but in the song, Steely Dan do not seem to have strong feelings, or even impressions, of the place. Dallas exists solely as a place for the singer to say goodbye to, because he must. He seems to feel okay about it. The B-side is Sail the Waterway, about a man who considers chucking it all to make a life on the sea. These were perfectly decent 70s rock songs, about men and the allure of rambling, a fruitful 70s rock subject. In 1975, Dallas will resurface on the eighth album, by the country rock band Poco. And around the same time, Denny Doherty of the Mamas and the Papas will record a version of Sail the Waterway. <laughs> 